Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about and show you what are the new features which has been introduced by Microsoft recently in Power Apps. So, a couple of features are related to model driven apps and some of them are related to Canvas app. So, as a whole together, I am going to show you that what are the new features which has been introduced very recently. So, for some of these features, you have to enable the versions. Uh, you have to change the version basically or you have to move to the version 3.230053.23. So that is a version for some of these features which will be required which I am going to show you as well. So these are the new features which are some of them are in preview I am going to talk about today in this video. One is the differentiation between the classic and the modern controls. So very recently I have uh, created a video on what are modern controls in Canvas app? The link is in description. Definitely you can go through that what is uh, modern, modern controls, what are modern controls and how they are different from the standard or the classic controls. But now in Canvas app, when you go to insert, when you click on insert, you can see two tabs over there which talks about what are the classic controls, what are the modern controls. But this only uh, will be visible when you change the version of your Power App Canvas app to three dot two three zero five three dot twenty three which i'm going to show you today responsive design screen site selector this is a very good feature which i will say which has been introduced by microsoft uh, to uh, show you that how you can see the responsive behavior on different screen different devices be it mobile be it tablet how your app is going to be uh, displayed uh, in terms of responsive behavior how your app is responsive that we are going to show uh, that we are going to see in this Power Apps uh, Canvas app. But again, this will only be enabled with this version, which is 3.23053.23. Next is a smart email validation. This feature is in preview as of now. This is only available for model driven apps. Please remember, this is not available for uh, Canvas app as of now. Another feature which we are going to talk about and I am going to show you is enable maker welcome content. So whenever your users will visit the Power Apps and they will see, they can see a very good customized message which you can create or you can say a welcome content which you can create by going to Power Platform Admin Center. Wrap feature which allows you to publish your app uh, in on Android and iOS. Chatbot control, you can add a chatbot control. It's a preview feature. You can add a chatbot control. And if any of the chatbot you have published using uh, Power Virtual Agents, that can be displayed in Power Apps. And then the Learn Hub. I will talk about this Learn Hub uh, because I have seen that Learn Hub has been in improvised or improved uh, as compared to the previous thing because now in Learn Hub, you can see the videos, you can see the content, which you can definitely use for learning power apps so let's see all these uh, all these new features or improvements uh, step by step in action so what i will do is i will navigate to the power app screen and i'm going to show you the classic and modern controls first of all the category between the classic and the modern controls but as i said for that what you have to do is that you have to make sure you go to the settings of your canvas app you go to support and make sure that the version authoring version is 3.23053.23 if it is not then you can definitely click on edit you can change the version from here for me as of now the version is this definitely if i go to now insert now if i go to insert you see the differentiation between the classic controls i can see the classic controls category is separate in two different tabs modern controls as separate similarly if i go there I can see classic controls and can see the modern controls. So this is the one new uh, enhancement I will say which they have done that you can differentiate between the modern controls which I showed you in one of my previous video. You should definitely check that out that what are the different modern controls which has been introduced in Canvas app. So this is the first one. Now coming to the second one responsive design screen size selector. Now this is again pretty very interesting. Now earlier what used to happen when we run the app, we are not able to identify whether our app will be compatible with different screen sizes, be it tablet, be it mobile and so on. Now they have introduced a new feature. If you run your app now, you will see a feature called something like this that you can see your app, how it is working in different 
tablet devices, different screen resolution. You can change even the custom width, custom height you can apply. So let's say if I want to see an Apple uh, iPad Pro, uh, how my app will look like. So this is how the app will look like now. Apple iPad mini, how, how this will look like. I can click on my app, go to container screen. I can click on home and so on. Similarly, on the mobile devices, I can see on, let's say, uh, Apple iPhone 14 plus how the app will look like. This is how it will look like on Motorola Moto G7. So this is very cool. Now it was not there earlier. And because of that, we were not able to identify that how our app will respond on different screen. And similarly, you can see that how it is behaving on the browser back to the browser. So this is for the tablet devices and this is for the mobile or the phone devices. And this is for the browser. So that is how you can definitely uh, check your app that how it is behaving in different devices, be it tablet, be it phone and so on. So this is again a very good feature which has been introduced. Now coming to the third one, smart email validation. So as I said, this, this feature is only available for uh, the model driven apps as of now. So basically what you can do is that your get email address column validated automatically in model driven apps with no code so it's basically email address validation for the email columns so what this feature uh, tells you that it can identify it can detect the following issues for example incorrect syntax disposable domain test or spam email address all these things can be identified without any doing any code in model driven apps that is called a smart email validation Next is enable maker uh, welcome content. So for this, you have to go to the Power Platform Admin Center. In the Power Platform Admin Center, you, you select your environment and uh, either you edit your manage environment because it will be available for the manage environment. In manage environments, admin can provide customized welcome content to help their makers get started. So that is a screen. That is how you can customize it, which you can create for your makers when they will visit the power platform app studio they can see a customized welcome content so for that what you can do is just click on enable welcome content and here you can see you can copy and paste or enter markdown or plain text here which will be visible to the makers as the welcome content so this is the next one next is rep feature rep feature is very again uh, important feature which has been introduced i will say uh, which allows you to wrap your canvas app uh, as custom branded Android and iOS app and it is allows you for native distribution to the mobile users only one thing important please remember to use the wrap feature for using the wrap feature you can use it within the solution only so your canvas app should be within a solution so if your app is within the solution then definitely you can wrap it now how how or where you will find this wrap feature I can show you very quickly that if you if you go back to to the power platform studio in the power platform studio what you will find is that uh, there is a feature called wrap which has been introduced in the power platform studio so you see here i am in the power platform studio you click on apps you select any app and here you click on three dots you will find the wrap feature the moment you click on this wrap feature it will redirect it is redirecting to you to a microsoft documentation and the reason being because i am using this wrap feature uh, in a canvas app which is not within a solution so what you have to do to use the wrap feature as i said go to the solutions within the solution if there is a canvas app which we have developed definitely then you can wrap it up so this is one of the solution which i have created Whipple Gen education i am going to uh, i am going to use a canvas app and i'm going to wrap this canvas app within the solution then it will allow you and it will not navigate you to any microsoft documentation so for example this is the canvas app which i want to wrap i can click on three i can click on uh, three dots i can click on wrap and you see it is gives me the wrap configuration which i have to do you have to uh, tell about the display name about the secondary app and so on so this is again a very good uh, feature which allows for the native distribution in as android and ios app so that is all about the wrap feature Chatbot control, yes, again, you can add a chatbot control to your Canvas app and you can embed a published Power Virtual Agent chatbot to assist your end user with a variety of requests. So basically, you have developed a chatbot, you have published it, and now there is a chatbot control, chatbot control, which is available uh, in the Power Apps Canvas app, which you can definitely add to your apps. So if I go to this uh, Canvas app, which is already uh, created you can find a control with the name chatbot so once you add that control it will ask for the chatbot 
control which has been published in power virtual agent to get added in the canvas app so that is how you can basically add the chatbot control if i go to the official documentation of chatbot control add chatbot control to your canvas app and embed a published power virtual agent chatbot to assist your end user with a variety of requests so basically you have to create a chatbot first of all uh, which is in power virtual agent you have to publish it and that particular chatbot which you developed in power virtual agent can be embedded now in the canvas app so this is the canvas app for example let's say if i go to the screen you see a chatbot control here uh, which i have added and for this chatbot control what you have to do is that you have to specify the chatbot which you have chatbot settings which you have uh, published it in the power virtual agent last but not the least what i am going to show you uh, is the learn hub so learn hub is all was already there it is just kind of an improvement which i am going to show you in this particular video so next is the learning hub uh, as i said learn hub is was already there but this is just kind of an improvement which i am going to show you so if you go to learn now if you go to learn in your power app studio power apps designer maker experience there is uh, at the top you see a banner which shows you the latest updates or announcement which happens in the power apps community or related to power apps and then you can have the guided learning material with for example in terms of courses in terms of articles community support all together everything is uh, available within the learn hub itself so that's all for this video in this video i just wanted to showcase that what are the new features which has been introduced in power apps and particularly for using these features you have to enable the version authoring version 3.2305 3.23 thanks for watching this video bye bye